Are you looking for storage for your next PC build? I'm Matthew from RigMonkey, and today I'll be explaining the size and speed of different drives to teach you how to find the storage that will best meet your needs for your next PC build. If you instead want part recommendations, check out our new website at rigmonkey.io. We'll assess your needs and we'll send you a part list with everything you need to tackle your goals. Storage is everything on your computer that stores the files you access and use every day. This can be anything from the games you play, the software you use, and even the operating system you run on your PC. Good storage means that you'll rarely be noticing load times or you won't have to worry about how much space you're using, while bad storage will leave you constantly waiting for load times and choosing between which files to keep and which ones to delete off your computer. Because your storage is used so often, it's one of the most important components in your PC, and you will constantly notice if you try to cheap out. When choosing storage, you really have only two variables to consider, size and speed. The simpler of the two is size. Put simply, more is better. Ideally, it will take several years and countless games and programs before you even have to start thinking about how much space is left on your drive. The space on a drive is commonly expressed in gigabytes or terabytes. One terabyte is equal to 1000 gigabytes. Drives can range anywhere from 120 gigabytes to upwards of 10 terabytes for external storage. To give you a basic idea, here are some common files you might work with and how much space they take up. One high quality image, like something you might take on an iPhone, is about 2 megabytes of data. A 5 minute high definition recording that's uncompressed is about 5 gigabytes of data. A lightweight game like League of Legends is about 8 gigabytes of storage. And finally, a not lightweight game like Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is about 50 gigabytes of storage for multiplayer only and a whopping 175 gigabytes if you want to play all game modes. Because of how big some of today's popular games are, it will be pretty hard to get by without at least one terabyte of storage, so that's our recommended minimum. However, even a drive with infinite size would be useless if it wasn't fast enough to support your needs. Speed is a little bit more complicated. There are mainly two factors to look at, access time and read slash write speed. First is access time. This is measured in milliseconds and it tells you how long it takes to find a file. You want to have a lower access time as you want the drive to find files really quickly. This is what determines your load times. Before we continue, are you following us on Instagram? If not, give us a look at rigmonkey.io, linked in the description down below. This is also a good time to mention the different kinds of storage. First we have hard drives. These are physical disks, which are usually in the 3.5 inch form factor or 2.5 inch for laptops. They're quite bulky and they usually have low access times of around 12 to 13 milliseconds. However, the access time can get compounded when dealing with games that have many files, as well as when you launch your operating system at boot, which requires reading thousands of files and it leads to very slow loading. Hard drives also have a lower read-write speed than solid state drives, which we'll discuss next. Solid state drives, or SSDs, make no sound and have much faster access times of around 0.03 milliseconds. This is because they don't have any spinning disks. They're significantly faster, and they usually come in the 2.5 inch form factor or the M.2 form factor. Furthermore, we have NVMe SSDs, which are similar to SSDs, especially in times of access time. However, the second component of storage speed is read-write speed, measured in megabytes per second, which can tell you how fast it can interact with a file once it's been accessed. You want a higher read-write speed, and this is where NVMe SSDs are differentiated from the regular SSDs, sometimes having several times the read-write speed. Both SSDs, whether they're NVMe or not, will significantly beat out any hard disk drives in read-write speed. Here's a quick graphic to explain the differences one more time. The hard disk drives have the slowest access time and the slowest read-write speed. The solid state drives have much quicker access times and a much faster read-write speed. However, the NVMe drives have a similar access time but a much faster read-write. The price of your storage depends on both size and speed. Obviously, a faster and larger drive will be more expensive. A 1TB hard drive will always be cheaper, but also less desirable than a 1TB solid state drive, 
which would have the same relationship between an SSD and an NVMe drive. That said, the difference between a hard drive and a solid state drive is much larger than between an SSD and an NVMe SSD. The tech behind NVMEs is still new and pretty expensive, so the best balance of performance and price will currently be an SSD, with a size according to your needs. However, you don't need to settle with just one drive. It might make more sense for you to store non-intensive files such as pictures or video files or games that you don't play very often on something like a hard drive that has plenty of storage while still being a reasonable price. And then you can have a smaller, say, 256 or 500 gigabyte SSD for your operating system and a handful of your favorite games and most important software. In the end, there are many competing factors and things to look at. Doing this research on your own is fun and requires a lot of thought, but you'll learn something new. If you'd like to speed up the process, give the RigMonkey PC Builder a try. We'll take in your needs and specific circumstances to recommend the exact build or upgrade that would suit you the best. Check out the link in the description down below, or go to rigmonkey.io. That's all for today's video, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below and comment anything that you think we might have missed. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, because we'll be doing one of these videos about all of the major components to build a PC. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.